Welcome, welcome! It's my dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today's video is all about how to find an organization, how to join the organization, and what to do once you've joined an organization in Star Citizen. So first of all, let me show you. You have to log into your account, which I've already done here. Okay. Um, you can see that I have civilian title here. You can change all that. Maybe that'll be a different video. And here I have no organization. And to show you I have no organizations, let's go to my settings and let's go to organizations. So I have no organizations here. I can search and join an organization or I can create an organization. Today I'm going to show you how to search and join. Now you can do it either from this page or you can go up to the community and click on organizations here okay so let's go in through this method and it brings you to this page where it's got all these organizations listed now you can do all sorts of things on this page so you can list it by size so obviously test squadron is the the biggest org in the game with explore this is these have been the top orgs for a really really long time uh, nothing's changed here in this top org section. Um, our org is not quite that big, uh, but you could also change it to the other size, which is a bunch of size one orgs. They only have one person in each and every one of those. Um, you could also go by name. It could go in alphabetical order. You know why you would want to search by name? I'm not real sure, but anyways, you get the idea. Uh, creation date so you can go by like the org that's been around the longest or the newest so some of these have been around a while maybe I, I don't know most active orgs uh, so yeah these are the most active orgs here our org is pretty active but the most active list goes off it's got a weird listing but you can see there are 54,573 organizations so if you wanted to look for a specific org like mine I could type in Texas and press enter now obviously this first one is the org that I'm a part of uh, that I you know that you watch a lot of now there are a bunch of orgs that have Texas in the name hopefully a lot of these guys will join our org and we'll have some similar ideas on what we want to do with it but texas as you can see has 336 members right now we are somewhat of a role play we are recruiting um it's an organization right now and it's kind of a regular commitment so you don't have to be on it hardcore uh but we expect you to be on it more than you know once a month <laughs> okay so if i click on texas now it's going to take me to the org page which this has been a while since we've overhauled this a really long while but you can scroll down we have little quotes here uh, this is our history and it goes back to Texas lore and then up to modern times then I have an introduction video down here that you can also watch if you would like and uh, you can also click on the manifesto it kind of tells you a little bit more about uh, what we believe in as far as how we want our org to operate oh, again a lot of this stuff could be overhauled eventually and then the charter as well which we're gonna have an actual org charter that people can go and read about the structure and everything else and that that's coming very soon so if you wanted to watch the video you could watch it right here in the window the land was harsh and unconquerable the predators were many and insurmountable. Few had the determination and fortitude to brave this new frontier. From the beginning, it was just an idea, a dream, a beautiful thought of peace and prosperity, a place of freedom and endless possibility. For those few to take up the challenge of the beautiful but deadly lands of opportunity, it was a homestead to call their own. A land for their family to tend to 
and develop however they chose to. But as always, there are those that would try to suppress such freedom for their own gain. They would strip those rights we held most dear and try to rule over us with an iron fist. We finally had enough and chose to fight back. There would be wins and losses. Some losses so terrible, there would be a rallying cry for future victories. Through it all, the countless brave men fighting outgunned against overwhelming odds would become a thing of legend. And victory was ours. Eventually, other battles and other wars would be fought. With the skills and perseverance we learned by conquering the impossible land and unbeatable foes, our legend would continue to grow. In battle, we are the bravest, meanest, and toughest sons of bitches to ever walk the face of the earth. If you were to meet us on the street, you could expect something quite different. A smile, a nod, or a handshake. Opening doors, yes sir, and yes ma'am. A clap on the back and a drink. We are the friendliest and most polite folk you could come across. These values have survived hundreds of years and make us stick out like sore thumbs. Matt and our cowboy hats. Oh, we like guns too, and we aren't scared to use them. We are Texas, and this is Texas. All right, so you get the idea here. If we want to join this, we can also look at the members first and decide, oh, I don't like that guy. I'm not going to work with him. Uh, let's let's find one of those guys. Um, uh, let's see. Who, who do we not like here? Who am I going to pick on today? Uh, Rathschild? Yeah, don't like that dude. Uh, uh, let's see. Who else? Who else? Um, yeah. Yeah. Some of these other guys, they're cool. Yeah, pretty much just Wrath. Yep, yep. Don't like that dude. Total jerk. And I'm just kidding. Wrath is a great dude. And he's one of our leaders. So he's somebody that you will interact with quite often if you join the org. You see this big Join Us Now button? That's what you're going to click to try to join the org. And... You can type in uh, your application, say, uh, let's see, I have had Star Citizen a total of 30 minutes. I love the videos. I want to play with an active org who are like family. That sounds like you guys I am ready to saddle up point me in a direction I will ride off guns a blazing Okay, you get the idea. So you can make the membership visible, redacted, or hidden. Uh, right now we'll do visible. And then you submit the membership. So after that, you have to wait until somebody accepts that membership for the org in order for you to get in. So give me one moment and we will see what happens. All right, so let us refresh the page because I know that I've been accepted into the org. So now I show up on the rolls. If I go back to my account, you can see I have the little Texas emblem here. Okay, I can go to settings. And then when I click on the orgs tab, it shows I'm now a member of Texas. Okay, you can leave the org. 
You can uh, set your visibility for the org. You can set it up as a main or as an affiliate. See, I could set it as an affiliate if I wanted to. What's the difference between main and affiliate? The main org is going to be the one that is your main org. An affiliate would be something that you're just kind of a member of, but not necessarily 100% involved with. Um, take, take, for instance, Operation Pitchfork. That is a, an org that's all about going and attacking the Vanduul during beta. They want to get as many people to attack the Vanduul you know, in beta. So you could always set that as an affiliate because that's, you know, that's something that's only going to be for beta. Now, I'm sure there's people going to stick around in the org after that, but most people are going to just, you know, they want to be part of that operation. So they'll set their org as affiliate for that particular org. In Texas, we have about half and half where half the members have it as a main org and the other half are about affiliate. There's multiple reasons for that. Some people have, you know, or like early on, even Rathschild has his own org uh, that we kind of made a part of the Texas org. And, you know, he still had that in there. So he was still owner of that org, or that was still his main, so to speak. Now that has changed. He's handed that off to his second in command with the idea that, you know, they would run the org and he would take on more responsibility within the main org of Texas. Uh, so there are reasons why people will do affiliates, people will have different mains, etc. Uh, sometimes, you know, people just want to be a part of what another org has. Um, or maybe, you know, our org is more active than their main org right now, and so they want to, you know, be part of that. Uh, now these roles and stuff, that can be assigned, you know, based off of what leadership wants for each character, etc. Uh, but yeah, so that is how you would join an org now once you have joined an org if you click on the org it's going to bring up this page and now there's a new tab here it's spectrum so if you go and click on spectrum it's going to take you to spectrum of course but it takes you to the org tab and over here on the left column you see stars and guide system and texas is now added there but before it was only going to be those top two so with texas there it usually has, well, you can see, we've got all sorts of different things on our spectrum. Under chat lobbies, it says use Discord because we want people to go to our Discord to do all the chatting right now. Uh, so if you click on it, it'll give you a link to go to our Discord. Uh, there's also a welcome to Texas, which has a lot of different people posting and stuff on here. We've got a welcome message from me and this will soon change most likely to uh, new members start here, something along those lines. But definitely check those out whenever you join an org, whether it's our org or yours, and you know whatever org you're joining. And most orgs are going to have a Discord or a TeamSpeak or a Mumble, something along those lines. I highly, highly recommend you look for where they are chatting uh, in game, are they using the in, you know game comms, or are they using Discord or something like that? Right now, Discord is a very good program to use, um, but there's m several different ones out there that are really good. Uh, I think Test use, gu uses Gilded, probably because they're sponsored or something. I don't know. Uh, it, it does work really well for them. Uh, but yeah, there's all sorts of information usually in Spectrum about orgs. Some of them won't have very much at all. Some of them is just more of a chat forum. Uh, we have a little bit of both of that going on. We have lore, which, you know, there's character bios. K9's got his character bio in there, which is pretty interesting. Um, there's member content here where people can put pictures and different org operations and stuff like that. Our org even has a OneDrive where we upload videos from time to time that uh, different people captured during different org ops. Uh, that we can use for b-roll or whatever for on each other's videos and stuff so definitely check out the spectrum pages it'll actually lead you to where you want to go in some cases some cases you're going to have to reach out through a private message uh to somebody in your org to find out what you need to do or where they you need to go uh, i highly recommend that you try to utilize that option as well uh, our org you can actually just go to the discord and uh, get on that okay so There'll be people, plenty of people to welcome you into the Discord. If not, you're just in there at the wrong time because most of the time there's quite a few people that say welcome uh, to the org. So definitely 
check out the discords. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. I really do appreciate it. This is how to join an org and what to do when you join one. I uh, hope you got some good information here. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit that little bell icon to let you know when I do more of these. If you want to join my org, there is another way to do that as well. Let me pull up our YouTube channel and I can go back and show you exactly how. Oh, let's go to YouTube channel. This is the latest video. Well, actually, this will be the second to last video. We'll hit show more. Here's a link to our Discord. Really easy to get to the Discord if you go here. Here's the link to the org page right here. Although it's not highlighted, you can copy and paste that into your browser bar and it will take you to our org page on the Robert Space Industries page. So copy, throw it up in the browser, paste, and click and there you have it you're at the org you'll be able to join with that join button over there once again guys thank you so much if you want to support this channel check out the patreon and youtube member section that is going to be in one of those links in the description of the video thank you again i'm mud dog with the texas space navy and i'll see you out in the verse